All right, here's our last example for the night. We're graphing cosecant. So that's connected to sine of 2 x minus pi over 2. Notice I factored out that GCF of 2. So I see that my amplitude is 1. My period is 2 pi over 2, which is pi. And we shift right pi over 2. So that means my first period is going to start at pi over 2. It's going to end at pi over 2 plus pi, which is 3 pi over 2. And my second period going to start at 3 pi over 2. It's going to end at 3 pi over 2 plus pi, 5 pi over 2. So remember, this is just helpful for you to see. You might not need to write that down. So let's go ahead and sketch this now. So this is going to be pi. Let me give myself some space pi over 2, and this is going to be 3 pi over 2, and this is going to be 5 pi over 2. Let's split this up in the middle. Pi over 2 is 3 pi over 2 is 4 pi over 2 divided by 2 is pi. The middle of this is going to be 3 pi over 4. 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, 8 pi over 4 is 2 pi, and 9 pi over 4. So I start to see my pattern. And I'm going up 1, down negative 1. So let's do my sign. Da starts at 0, up, down, down, up, up, down down, up. And this is my dashed sine line. Ah. So now wherever sine is zero, it's going to be a vertical asymptote. A vertical asymptote. A vertical asymptote. A vertical asymptote. vertical asymptote and then my amplitude point reciprocal amplitude point reciprocal amplitude point reciprocal amplitude point reciprocal and so let's label those points 3 pi over 4 1 5 pi over 4 negative 1 7 pi over 4, 1, and this is 9 pi over 4, negative 1.